Hi, this is uh, Assistant Professor James Cook, and if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in participating in a study that Mina Matthews and I are carrying out that tries to explain how it is that some students do so well in an undergraduate class and what their secrets of success might be. Uh, as part of that, we're asking you, uh, a student, to complete a concept map. Here's how. I'm going to show you an example uh, for the concept map of the concept tree. How do you create a concept map for tree? The first thing you do is you take out a sheet of paper. Do so right now and pause the video until you've got your paper. Okay, so I'm going to do that over here. It, uh, it says now I'm supposed to write down 20 words related to the concept tree. I actually haven't done this before, so I'm doing it off the spot. I'm going to write down wood. I'm going to write down uh, bark, uh, plant, uh, xylem, uh, water. They need water, uh, carbon dioxide, uh, and oxygen, uh, which is part of the atmosphere, uh, shelter, birds. Pardon, you can't have interruptions. Uh, birds, so make sure that your cell phone's off when you're doing this. Uh, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Branches and leaves. Leaves. Uh, Christmas. Uh, and lights. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I need a few more, so I'm going to come up with a few more. Um, what else is there about tree? Re, re, they have roots. Um, they have a trunk. Uh, and uh, trees. What else do trees do? Trees give you shade. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Three more. What else is there about a tree? I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, shade. Uh, trees are, they prevent erosion. <laughs> and uh, a tree. Final thing about that. Uh, well, they can have twigs. Okay, so. I was just coming up with those off, off, off the top of my head. If you're a, a, a tree surgeon or a, an arborist or tree scientist, you could probably be saying, oh, you could have done that so much better. But the whole point is not that you get it right, but that you dump out what's in your head. Now, the second thing to do is to take out a second sheet of paper. Go get that second sheet of paper. And I'm going to simulate that here. I'm going to write out tree at the top. And now I'm going to make this big so that you can see it. Okay, there's tree. Now I'm supposed to pick out the three most important words and place them under tree. What do I think? Well, what are the conceptually big things about trees? Plant, I think, is one of them. Another thing is what it's made out of, wood. And a third thing to keep in mind might be something about what it does. So something about the atmosphere. I'm going to pick those three. As I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking in my head about what I really think matters here. Again, it doesn't matter if I'm right or not. What matters is um, what I think. That's the goal. So I'm going to take wood, plant, and atmosphere, and I'm going to place them underneath. Now to do that, uh, I'm going to insert some shapes because I'm going to want to um, be able to control where I put them. So I'm going to put 
here and uh, one that says wood and then I'm going to put another shape here under insert shapes I'm using doing this in Microsoft Word okay you might have a similar program uh, atmosphere and I'll make it big enough so that it can fit it there we go and I'll place that underneath and then oh I'm gonna copy and paste that control C and control V and oh it's a plant right plant so those are three words that are placed under tree oh now if I look at 1f over here it says to draw lines between the concepts that I think are connected to each other hmm. which of these ones are connected oh well I see wood and plant are connected to each other and I think a plant and the atmosphere because it, 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 it produces oxygen uh, that's true of all plants it's not what the wood does though so I'm actually gonna move plant here uh, over to the middle and atmosphere over to the right because oh uh, it looks like plant connects to wood and plant connects to atmosphere okay so now I'm gonna insert another shape and that is a line and the, the shape is going to go there and another shape is insert shape line is going to go there now finally it says to write phrases over the lines that indicate what the connection is and it should be something that uh, sort of completes a sentence so uh, a plant uh, produces whoops a plant uh, let's see I'm gonna need to somehow write over there huh so I'm gonna insert what else a text box oh dear okay well it produces maybe I'll pick something else to do this but here it goes I could say produces plant produces an atmosphere uh, what about wood uh, in order to do that uh, I'll say control C and V and I'll put produces over here hmm and then I'll say well I could say wood makes up a plant okay and oh now I also have the concept of tree up here don't I so I have some possible connections there so what am I gonna do I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take this tree thing and I'm gonna put it inside a nice shape tree and then I'm gonna make some more lines okay And insert some more lines mm. and insert some more lines and there's a little line and then I could copy and paste these things I'll say a tree is made of uh, wood that a tree also produces atmosphere because a tree is a kind of plant so I could make that a little smaller I think no I couldn't but I could place it over here there we go and then you could still see the line 
and I've got the beginning of a concept map. Now the next step is to take, you, you have a, a set of terms here, all these other terms, and place them underneath as you think they're related. So uh, I could take this atmosphere and I could say, oh, uh, atmosphere has carbon di carbon dioxide and it has oxygen, two of my concepts. And I'll place those underneath atmosphere because I think they're related to atmosphere. I'm placing them close because I think they're related. Then I'm going to copy that line and I'll put that line over there. And you can move the endpoints around. This is in Microsoft Word. We'll talk in a little bit about how you could possibly do this in, in another program. Hmm. And I'll draw connections there. And then I could say, hey, uh, you know, uh, uh, I could say maybe these are parts of. And you can use the same connecting phrase or word for more than one subsidiary object, uh, concept, in the concept map. This is the beginning of a concept map for tree. I would continue doing this, and, you know, within another 10 minutes, I'd be done. Um, now, as I do this, maybe there will be concepts I decide I want to take in and take out, maybe ones I want to add. For instance... Boy, it looks like I'm talking about photosynthesis over here, doesn't it, when I'm talking about carbon dioxide and oxygen? Maybe I should have included that as a term. Um, maybe I don't want to include the word poem. I just wrote that out because I didn't have anything else to put there. Um, that's okay. Then, when that's done, I'll have a concept map. So... The second question is, how do you upload a concept map? I'm going to ask you to share this with me through Blackboard for the course. Uh, there are two ways to do that. The first is that you could be doing this on a sheet of paper with a, a pencil, and that's okay. Um, write it out, draw it. You might find that a lot faster than working in Microsoft Word and doing special shapes and things like that. Great. Um, you can scan it in, or you could take a, a, a photograph of it. Uh, if you have a smartphone or a digital camera, you could do that too. As long as I can read it at the end, you can then upload the file. Uh, it's a graphic file, and that would be okay. The second thing you could do is you could, you could work in Microsoft Word, and you could create a concept map. Maybe you know of another program that could do the same thing. That's okay too. As long as you come up with a result that looks something like this, uh, obviously you'll want to include a few more terms, then that's fine. Now for this video, I'm speaking to a criminology class. So what I'd like you to do is not to think about trees, but I'd like you to think about criminology. right? And what are the other terms that are related to criminology? I'm not going to say. What are the connections between them? I'm not going to say, because really I want to know what's going on in your mind, and that's what the concept map will allow uh, me to see. That's what I really want. That's what I'm interested in. Thanks for considering this study, and I wish you lots of luck. Um, just get to it, and remember there are no wrong answers. Uh, because the correct answer is really what's, what's in your head right now at the beginning of this course. Thank you.